hope you had a good Father's Day yesterday. Uh, something that is changing with me is my place of studio. Thanks to uh, COVID-19 and the long, long lockdown and restrictions of events and those big ticket jobs aren't here right now. So this is gonna be my last month in this place. After 18 and a half years, this is my last time I'm doing this. It's a little bittersweet, but you know, sometimes change is good. And when God has a plan, you gotta just roll the punches, man. You know, I've learned that in my lifetime. Fighting change has always been the downfall to so many things. Sometimes you gotta just trust your gut and believe in your faith. This is now all going bye-bye. Anybody need a projector? And screen, it's an awesome projector and screen. It's automatic, by the way, so cool. If I need some uh, baby props that I don't use anymore, I'll be posting these later. But uh, I'm starting to take this thing down. All of this <laughs> was up here. Talk about uh, stuff to get rid of. Yesterday was Father's Day, and it's my 18th Father's Day. My oldest is 18 years old. And you know, every year they get better and better. When they're little, they you know draw you little cards and stuff. And honestly, that's become one of my favorite things to hold on to. And um, every year they do that, and it's like a family tradition now. Uh, even cousins' birthdays or grandparents' birthdays, they're making their own cards, which I like kind of keeps you creative but it dawned on me what have I been doing as a dad for the last 18 years and I just wrote a blog post on my focuswithgk.com blog post on what does it mean to be a father you know you get married you you're used to yourself you can go out with your boys you get married you learn to settle down a little bit but you know you can't help but wonder how many things are just of yours that slowly goes away you know like your self-identity you feel like you're losing that and I was just thinking about all the things that I used to do compared to how we're doing things now and things are way better now than they were before before you only had you and to see these little human beings becoming positive creative forces in this world and their mom and dad had a hundred percent to do with that i love that i love that my kids do not know hate hate is not in my house they don't understand all this racial division, which is wonderful because they only know how to love and they know how to be loved. If you're not giving back what they're putting out, they're going to move on just like I have. So I hope you, if you're a father out there, you're showing your kids love all across the board. That's the best thing I could do as a dad is when I retire from this world, the humans I leave behind were better than the ones that came before us. That's deep, but true, very true. I'm in my car right now, I'm in my truck, and I'm staring at the front of my studio because this place, this building, this thing that I'm paying rent for has been a huge piece of my personal identity for almost 20 years 
And losing that was such a big deal. It was. But today, as I'm packing things up and I'm putting things in piles of what's important, not important, throw away, sell, keep, it, it felt really good to do the work, to do the cleaning up, you know? Um, this next chapter in my life is going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Um, as a photographer, I'm highly mobile anyway. I haven't really been here at the studio very often because so much of my work is on location. And my laptop, my MacBook Pro, is two to three times faster than my desktop at work. So I'm working mobile completely, um, either at home or any job I'm on. My point is, I had to come to the realization that this building, this place, does not define me as an artist or a person. That, that was a big deal to get here. And me turning on the GoPro is actually my first time even talking about this. So the fact that I'm sharing this with you, my subscribers, it's a big deal. I'm sure somebody else is going through something like this and it, it took me a while to work. I'm still working through this. It's, it's not like it, I'm past it by any means, but realizing what defines you and what does not define you becomes an easier way of moving on to your life. So whatever that is that is blocking you from change, from moving forward, think about whether it defines you or not. 95% of you will say it does not define me. And if it does define you, why? What are the good things? They should be good things, right? Not bad. So what are the reasons? Go write them down. What are the reasons why it or whatever it is that's blocking you? Why does it define you? And uh, make the right changes, you know? Yesterday was awesome for me because... I realized these little bitty kids are now becoming older kids and adults and how wonderful it is for me to have had that opportunity to raise future awesome humans. That's the way I look at it, all right? If you're a local in town and you've been knowing me for years, you know I love everyone. I have all friends. All friends are race, creeds, and colors. You name it, money styles, colors, religions, you name it. I have friends everywhere because I like seeing the person, not what you're wearing, not the color you are. I don't care about your religion. I don't care about your money status. That does not, that does not define you. See? I like knowing the person. The person. I'm glad you're here because if you made it through the video this far, you're wanted to know a little bit more about me. So if I shared anything with you that has emotionally impacted you or did it help you? Were you that person today that needed to hear this? Because I feel like somebody else needed to hear this besides me just venting to you, you know? All right, that's going to be my vlog for today because I'm going to go continue cleaning and getting ready for my next step. And uh, I'll bring you along for the ride. But today, think about what defines you. And are you moving forward in your life? Are you? All right? I truly hope you stay focused on your dreams, man. It's a bigger deal than you realize. It's to stay focused on your life, on your creative part. You know, whether it's you loving somebody or as a business you want to do your photography, your art, your painting, your whatever it is that makes you happy, I hope you stay focused on that because a happy human makes other people happy, you know? All right, stay focused on your dreams. I will see you in the next video because I have one coming. <laughs> Peace, y'all.